Okay, it seemed to start it up again. Ah! Tech Rabbit here. Um, Friday evening hobby again. Um, yeah, we're working on this robot arm. So I thought I'd continue with the next step. And um, according to the next step, let's see now. Um, they actually would like to us to test the servos if they actually work. And um, it's noteworthy to comment that the um, ah, the software is already loaded onto the Arduino board, so we actually don't need to download any. For this implementation, we don't need to download the uh, the Arduino code. And upload it, so it's it should be ready. To, this module should now be ready to go. So their idea is that we should um, test it, and um, yeah, and it's just to um, open up these servos. And I don't think that we need to put any arms on them because now. See if I go back. I think I need to go back to the camera here. I can actually. Right, here we need to put that extra light. There. That's actually a bit necessary. Make it a better picture. Anyway, this is the, the servo package. And it comes with a bunch of arms we're supposed to put on, or can put on, not supposed to put on, because this application I'm not sure exactly which of those arms we need to use, if any. Let's open one of these packages and have a look, and see what we see. So, here's, here's a servo motor. Um, these are very small ones, so they're the ones that run on 5 volts. And it's got this head here. Like, oh, that's actually aluminium, that's nice. It's not plastic. Cool. And then you have a package of arms that you can alternatively use to put on top of it. Seems to come with some nice screws also. So that's not, that's not that bad. Um, but we'll set those to the side now, the arms. So we'll just take the servos out of their package and leave those arm things on the side for now. Okay. Servo number two. Take out the arms. Another servo. And we take out the arms. We'll see if we'll need any of those. So they probably just throw it's nice that they if, if, if we don't actually need these, then I mean it's nice that they threw them in the package because then you can repurpose the servos. You don't want to actually continue using the robot then you can because these don't look that bad, these servos. Even if they're like yeah, low 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 torque, five volt. They're they're quite heavy, and the, and actually the the head is um, aluminium, which is usually lots of these cheapo um, packages come with servos where where the actual head here is um, is uh, plastic, but this is not. So okay, and then we just have a look at the little bit of the wiring. So they should in theory be all the same way around. And it looks like we start. Ah, oh, this picture is extremely bad. The instruction picture I'm looking at. <laughs> we will assume that it's like this. Oh, but they actually have numbers there. So 
Well, it is actually numbered one to four. Wonder what those two other other pins are used for. Them. Um, connect these up as they would like them to be connected up. And it doesn't matter the order. I mean, the the servers are identical. So in this case, we don't have to care about which of the physical servers we. Except that, of course, now I've been plugging them into the. <laughs> yeah. The lighting's not so good here. Ah, come on. Put it in the right place, will you? No, it's wrong also. Oh, so it should be. Should it be okay? No, there's one more. issue which is the the power supply and um ah, this is a small detail um, let's see if I can get a uh, yes in uh, where I live in uh, Europe we have this type of outlets I thought this was a good example because this is an extension box. So it's a, a round outlet and, and our maintenance voltage is um, 220. And then we have this kind of socket. And also two, it's 220 volts. And um, the supply that comes from China is actually a dual rated power supply. So I wonder if I can show the rating. Let's see. It. I can see it quite well, I think. Come on. Focus. So you can see that it's 100 to 240 volts. Now, the problem is, of course, this physical, for us, this physical, it won't go anywhere. So, then what you need to do, you need to have one of these. Uh, we need here in, in the place that I live, we need this kind of an adapter. Now these you, you can order from um, China, or you can actually buy them at airports and stuff, so this is like these international adapters. But you, got, you can, if you remember, you can just put it in the... Uh, not from this company, I don't think that you can buy it, but um, yeah, you can search for it and find it. So then what we can do is that we can just um, put that in there. I'm going to try and plug this in for the first time, and then we'll see if it smokes or blows up. We wait for a little while. This is stuff from China, so it's not to say. Sometimes quality assurance isn't as high as one would like. Ah, yep. Yeah. So. That seems to work. Now, if I was really paranoid, then I would actually measure the voltage that comes out of here. I wonder if I should do that, just to make sure that it actually is 5 volts. Oh, I think I will actually go and get it on. <sighs> measure it with the oscilloscope, but then I don't know what priority that is. 
Just some extra quality assurance. Just to make sure we don't plug in something that's not producing correct voltage. We set it to volts and then we I'm not sure what the polarity is here, so let's see what this says that it is. Five volts with um center positive polarity. So I'll put the the plus in the middle and then the ground on the side. So then we get plus 5 volts. So that seems to be okay. I mean it doesn't have to be exactly 5 volts. So, you know, something around 5 volts works. Oh, I need some water. There we go. Okay, and um, then they were saying, I'm just going to look at the instruction. Connect the four servos to the corresponding circuit board power up. Make sure that each server can be rotated. And then rotate the steering gear to the middle position. Okay, so we don't actually know where steering gear to the middle position. Doesn't seem to be keyed. So it depends on what type of servo this is. This is a continuous rotation or or um, problem is I can't see that that's keyed. We will see what happens when we oh, plug this in. Just take out a bit more of the cable. So, and we see. Whoa! Something happened. Which one is making noise? Seems like a few of them are jittering. So if I bring it, probably not that easy to see on the camera. Let's see what the I can't even see which servos. Ah, but it's turning, but it, it'll be like nearly impossible to see in the camera, I think. Plus I can't bring it. Ah, but then of course one could maybe borrow one of these, just to illustrate. Illustrate and take which one would be the most visual. Probably this one. It's kind of an event, some logic, where it's sort of 
get it to be in the center position. Hmm. Because my knobs are not, the, the knobs I pushed on, the knobs actually have a small sort of indicating point here. But I haven't bothered with that, I just put the knobs on. Interesting problem. If we make it approximate, then. I could leave that short one, I could take the short one. See, now I just kind of. It's like maximum that way. And that's maximum that way. So if I put it in the middle position, then it's like approximately there. Yeah, I suppose better than nothing. these arms on permanent either. Hmm. But they did say that wait, rotate the steering gear into the middle position. might be necessary when we're doing the next install that the servos are adjusted so that when they're actually put into place then they have because the, these are not rotational servos so they don't go 360 degrees so then maybe it's necessary to uh, have them centered I think I'll just take the small, small arm out of every package and use that to uh, test each server. This one is running very hot. This one is hard to have any kind of wonderful. It should be wired correctly. What about these ones? That's running cool. Wow, this one's hot also. That's strange. Why would they be some of them running so hot? break here because I don't understand why why in the world is this one running so hot ouch this isn't running hot at all and this one isn't running hot at all why do we have two of the servos running so hot I 
don't really like that. And they don't seem to be working the way they intended either. to go offline and do some research. The ones, the ones that are running cool aren't shuddering around. And they are all these two. But these poor ones are... Oh man, they're running so hot. That's the two middle ones that are running, running very hot. Might done some soldering problems, but why would why are they short circuited with each other? Maybe I have to recheck the um, soldering. Let's see. from the same No, I can't see any soldering problem. That is strange. And the same power rails. Mm. 
SMG, not SMG. Yes, they're all the same type. If I swap two servers around, and we can see if they if this one gets so incredibly hot then. Okay, something's changed. Where has it? Let's see if this gets hot. Something. I don't know what. Did I push some scrap away? Hmm. But now there isn't that extra noise. And, um, and now each servo is it still getting hot? What I did is I um, took the control board out of the out of the IQ saw. I just disassembled it. Had to look at it a little bit extra. I do not. Th I don't think I saw anything at all. And then I just plugged it back in again. Okay. Well, uh, don't know what that was. But anyway, we um, continue. No, I think I'll start from the beginning. Oh. So what we will do is what? Take this one, just the first server. And then we'll put it to minimum, I suppose. Because that wind can know at least.
It's just gonna. Still haven't found a logical way to sand for this. Okay, so that would be the center. A quick way to. Deal with this as well. I'm a bit too tired, I just can't really figure out how I'm going to make the center. Oh, that flies way too much. Ah, there must be some better logic. Ah, let's see. How about the positioning nice anyway? So I think the main problems I mean whatever it was, I don't know. That's solved. But it still remains to be seen. What I was trying to do is I was trying to uh, see when the swings to right to left, but then it would actually, and then I should try and position it so that it's in the middle of that swing. So that would be middle position as according to what they would like to have, because it might be necessary when we're installing on the or fastening to the actual arm system that, um, seems to swing a lot further. Thank you. 
still don't really understand this concept of the middle. And this servo, this one here, moves more than the other two. I don't know if I'm doing that good. I'm going to give up. I'm going to put it in the middle of it. So, we'll be actually faster. So, put an arm on, move it max min, and then put it in the middle position. And then take the arm off. We don't deal with making it more complicated with the arms. So that's what I'll do with the rest of the two. And then I might move the knobs on to the to indicate the center, but then the thing is they don't seem to be a hundred percent just have to check which ones have the arms and the arms, the other one, this one's good. So, I'm going to figure that out. So let me take the third one and let us put it on. And I suppose the main idea is that we should test if they move. And now they seem to do that after some initial very odd problem. So that will be approximately in the middle now. And then I take this one. Always takes a while to figure out things. So, and then we let it swing. So, this is the strategy put that on, swing it, maximum, or minimum. And then put it approximately in the middle position, like that. And then we just take the hand off. So then it basically they're in there. All the um, spindles here are in the middle position, approximately. And that should be good enough for the next phase, I suppose. And uh, I don't know what that initial problem was. Maybe there was some scrap on it. Oh, I didn't see anything. I just took it apart and then put it back together again. And uh, you see, now the servos are not hot. And they're not making any vibration noise. So everything seems to be okay. So, um, yeah. I don't know what that was. Okay, so I'll, I will call this um, uh, test servo off. Um, 
and then you know, I'll upload this video and then um, I have to look at the instruction. I think this was I think I should just ignore that problem I had initially with the servers. I don't know if anybody else will ever see that. Um, yeah, can't, can't explain what that was about. But anyway, okay, now we have um, connected in the servers, connected in the power supply, and we've tested centering the servos. And that's all done. So the next phase will be to um, install the servos and the acrylic parts. Okay, I'll terminate this one here. See you later, see you in the next one.